Hey guys, welcome to the uh, video tutorial. Um, in this video tutorial, we will be uh, talking about geometric optics. Um, probably the most important thing when you're dealing with these types of problems, um, because you'll have uh, mirrors and lenses and stuff like that, uh, probably the most important thing to remember is the uh, mirror equation. Um, it comes up every test and it comes up four or five times eight at least. Um, so the mirror equation we know is 1 over my object distance plus 1 over my image distance and that equals 1 over my uh, focal length. And another important little equation to know is that my focal length is given to me as my uh, radius of curvature divided by 2. Um, this is useful uh, a lot of times when you're dealing with telescopes the, those stars are so far away that their image distance or excuse me, their object distance is so high that more often than not the image distance focuses at the focal point. So to do that you just take your radius and divide it by 2. Um, now these types of problems, like I said, come up a lot on the multiple choice. So maybe a little hint is to think about what your multiple choice will heavily focus on and then maybe what your free response questions might focus on. Um, again, this equation is useful if you have a type of problem and they ask you what type of image would you expect um, because you can use this equation and see, okay, I'm going to get an image distance that is negative. In other words, it's behind the mirror. Well, that implies that I've got a virtual image. Um, stuff like that. Um, so another useful uh, equation is the uh, magnification equation. This is another one that is really useful because, again, if you forget which mirror produces which image, you can use this equation and it tells you everything. Um, and we know a magnification as M and it is um, my image height over my image uh, or object height and it's also equal to negative DI over DO. Now the uh, types of lemon, lenses, not lemons, but lenses that you'll come across, uh, you've got convex uh, or uh, a lot of times they're referred to as converging lenses because of the uh, how they make the light behave and they are shaped like uh, this. Uh, main thing is they're thicker in the center than they are at the edges. Uh, then you have uh, concave or diverging lenses and again, they get their name from the behavior that they make the light exhibit, which we're going to see here in just a second. And they are shaped something like this. And then uh, the types of mirrors that you'll have, you'll have a convex mirror, uh, which if this is your object, your mirror will be shaped like this. And then you have concave where if this is your object, your mirror will be shaped like this. Um, again, each lens is useful for specific things. A lot of times, uh, well, all the time actually, your uh, side view and uh, rear view mirrors will be convex lenses. It allows you to see uh, more of a peripheral type view, but again, the image distance is closer than they appear. Um, convex lenses are used a lot of times in magnifying glasses. Um, they produce uh, virtual images that are larger depending on where they are in the focal length and again we're going to look at that and um, yeah so those are the four types of uh, lenses and mirrors that you'll be dealing with and so let's look at uh, the types of rig diagrams that we can expect so this is an example of a uh, convex mirror We've got our object here, and so they've drawn uh, two principal rays. Again, you start, first ray I always draw is just straight towards the mirror, 
and then it's reflected and you extend it back towards the focus or the focal point. The other type of uh, ray, again it's reflected, but you extend it back towards the center of curvature and there you see your image and your image for convex lenses is always going to be uh, smaller than what it actually is. Um, so now let's go to a concave mirror. Whoops. There we go. Um, and so here they've got a lot of different, they've got a lot of different uh, rays drawn here. Again, the three that are probably the easiest to draw are the ones that head straight towards the mirror and then reflect through the focus towards your image and then uh, straight towards the center of the mirror, in other words, your axis, and then reflect it off. That one's not particularly easy to draw. The easiest one would probably be through the focus and then reflected parallel to your axis. Again, you only need two rays to converge at a point. And so here you would have your image. And again, this object is outside of the focal length. And so if this were my object height, then we see that my image height is smaller. Now that would change if I had my image inside the focal length. Um, here we have a diverging lens. And again, all of our rays here, we, uh, we have to extend the rays. And so if this is my object, again, let me get a little closer here. If this is my object here, then straight towards the mirror, and then it goes through, but you extend the ray back through the focal point. Okay, now this is the focal point on this side. Uh, on this one, you draw straight through to the focal point, but it reflects kind of parallel to my axis, so I extend it back like that. And then the last ray is drawn through the center of my mirror. So we have an, a virtual image appearing like this. Uh, the uh, last one I want to show you is on FET, and it is for a, uh, golly, it's for a uh, uh, converging lens here. And so here's my object, and again, it's outside of the focal length, which is right here. Again, I can change my uh, focal length here. And so if I move that closer and closer, or if I move my image closer to my focal length, I see, or my object, I see my image getting bigger and bigger, which is what happens until something happens inside the focal length. I'm going to leave that into your notes for you to decipher that. Um, so that is uh, a pretty good summation of your geometric optics. Again, this equation and this equation are ever so useful when uh, dealing with these types of problems.